a newcomer. Not a very friendly one either. Viewers, say hello to Soregios. Alright Hunter, are you ready? The Seragios is here. That is all that matters right now. You can put the whys of it right out of your head. You be careful out there. Stay focused and be ready for anything. I know you'll make good choices. Choice number one, hunting this thing in the first place. Yeah, I think that ship has sailed. Stay alert, Hunter. I will keep Nodorma safe until you return. Darn tootin', the aces will hold down the fort whilst you strut your stuff. You're the one to get it done. I am, aren't I? I don't need the map. Anyway, Seregio starts in area 10, so we're going to head there right away. So yeah, Seregios. One of the more awesome monsters out there. I'm kind of disappointed they didn't classify it as a bird wyvern just because of how bird-like it is. But anyway, yeah, let's prepare for this cool cutscene. Cue the music, bring it on, Seregios. Mount you! Okay, Seregios. As you can clearly see, this monster really likes using its razor sharp scales. Uh, when it actually when it flares them out like that, it actually kind of looks like a pine cone, but. Don't tell him I said that. He'd undoubtedly get mad. Yeah, it likes throwing his scales around. And he likes clawing at you with those fearsome talons of his. He is a really agile monster, and you do not want to underestimate him. Especially if this is your first time hunting it. Oh! That hurt. Alright, yes, Seregios is a flying wyvern. Its weak spot is the legs. And he's down. Time for that subquest. Ride the Seregios. Yeah, breakable parts are his crest, both wings, both claws, and severing his tail. Subquest complete. Let's focus on his face for now. I'm sure we can break his horn with a little trouble. Oh, and his wings are super armored, so uh, be sure to watch out for that. You know you've got Seregios mad when his scales start sticking out. Yeah, he is a dangerous, dangerous foe. Now, the unique part about Seregios is his scales. His scales will cause this, like, shrapnel to fly around, and if you get hit with multiple bursts of it, it will inflict an ailment call called bleeding. 
And bleeding is actually an incredibly dangerous ailment because if you exert yourself in any way, it will take out your health um, pretty darn quickly. Plus, the initial shrapnel does big damage. It's surprising how much damage this guy can do in such a short amount of time. Anyway, um, a bit of trivia about Seregios is that this monster was actually designed to be the rival of Rathalos. That's right. All this time, the King of the Skies has gone undisputed, and now all of a sudden, here comes this big spiky golden wyvern to try and take his throne. That's what makes this music so perfect, honestly. If you really stop and listen to it, then you can hear it's such a, um, it's a menacing, dramatic, like really villainous theme. And it, it really portrays the fact that Rathalos' rival is finally here. He's ready to take the throne. Oh, 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 danger, danger! No, 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 okay, Mega Potion. Get to high ground. And you know what? I probably should paintball you, Sergios. Hi. Miss! Gotcha. Oh. Where are you going now? Oh, he's flying off. I paintballed him just in time. Yeah, just listen to that music. Okay, heading off into the dunes proper. Let's get our hot drink and continue the fight. Come on over here, Sergios. You angry? Yeah, watch out for those claws. Those claws, if they hit you, they will cause bleeding. And yeah, and you've seen so far that even though he seems more of a close-range fighter, he can spray those scales a pretty impressive distance. Oh, I actually dodged that. That, that was really impressive. He's got a... That's his tail whip. Come on. The good thing about the shrapnel is that you can actually roll away from it if your timing is right. Oh, he got me. Okay, thank goodness. I haven't been um, bleeded yet. Bleeded? I don't know. I haven't been bloodied yet, let's just say that. Oh, do another talent attack. Another mount. Get your groove on, usurper of the skies. That's my personal nickname for him, the Usurper of the Skies. Mostly because Rathalos is the king of the skies, and this guy is trying to take his throne. So yeah. I thought the Usurper of the Skies is the perfect nickname for him. Okay, there goes the horn. Let's try to aim for the wing, because that's closest. Oh, he's mad now. Okay. Oh no. Come on. 
I want to cut off your tail. Oh, poor Delix. Oh. Oh, yeah. Something I should mention. If you break certain parts of Seregios, those parts are less likely to inflict bleeding. So if, if you break his head and he starts shooting spikes from his uh, neck, then um, they'll be less likely to cause bleeding. S same with his feet, same with his tail and his wings. Yes, he can inflict bleeding with his tail. Like, every part of this guy is razor sharp. In fact, in uh, Japan, his title is the Thousand Blade Wyvern. Which makes sense. I mean, look at all those razor-sharp scales. So yeah, continuing our trek into the dunes. We're making good progress. Such a cool roar, too. I like how he uses his um, scales to make his roar sound louder. Kind of like what Najarala does. What are you doing? What are you? You're like shimmying around. Stop shimmying. That's Cephadrome's job. Are you a Cephadrome? You're certainly a lot cooler than a Cephadrome. Oh, he's tired. That's why he's shimmying. Oh, ow. Dude, stop. Stop moving. You're tired. You're not supposed to be moving around this much. Okay, now he's mad. He's going to be moving around even more. Or maybe not. He's not no longer mad. Or he was never mad. Oh, I meant to get Seregios, not you, uh, Hermitor. Sorry about that. Caught in the crossfire. Okay. Doing good so far. Oh, nope. Oh, I love that attack. That is actually his pinning attack. If you get pinned by Seregios, it's pretty brutal looking because he, like, slashes around at you with those talons of his. And if you don't break free in time, he'll actually pick you up and throw you across the area. It's a really cool pinning animation, but one I really don't want to get caught by because it looks pretty strong. Knocked you out of the sky. That was awesome. I deserve a medal for that. And I cut your tail. Time to focus on the wings. And uh, the foot claws as well. Although I don't think I'll be able to break everything. Oh my. That was close. Not to go to the sky again, wow. <gasps> what happened? Did the cats knock him out of the air or something? That would have been great if they did. Unfortunately, I missed it. Oh, he got Kyle. He got Kyle! Look at how brutal that is. Oh, here he goes. He's going to throw him. Kyle, oh, right into the Hermitor. 
And you saw that Hermitor flinch too. That's proof that getting hit by something um, Sergio throws does uh, a little bit of damage. Or Dwyvern Tier. Sergio's Impaler. And there is a shiny thing over here somewhere. Oh, right there. So Sergio's is in area one right now. All right. So yeah, Sergius is so much fun to fight. I love fighting him. Just he, the, the combination of the music and the fight itself, it just gives me such an adrenaline rush. It's so fast-paced and the music is so tense and dramatic. Oh my god, it's such a fun fight. And if you can avoid getting um, bleeding done to you, then um, it's not that bad. Not, not bad of a fight. Ow. I managed to avoid um, the bleeding there. Okay, kind of pinned into a corner here. Yeah, he's really got me in a corner here. I This area is kind of tight and very small. Warming effect is worn off. I don't mind about that. You're really going for me, aren't you? Oh my, okay, I didn't think that would hit, actually. Oh no, did he actually... Sergio Skeleton sunken, yep, I've got bleeding. Not good, if you make any sudden moves like that, you'll open the wound and lose health. What you need to do is crouch and wait for the wound to heal. But I realize you may not have the luxury of sitting skill. Alright, okay. I need to get out of here. I am very low on health right now, so yeah, the Moss Wine Jerky... That um, heals bleeding, so does Steak. Um, but you can also crouch in place for a little while, and that will um, give you time to heal off the bleeding. One wing! Uh. Oh, flying off. And the paintball wore off too. Area four. That looks like it. There you are. Oh. Oh, F-bomb. Ow. All right. Come on. Second wing. All I need to break are the foot claws. 
Unfortunately, the foot it can be kind of difficult to tell when you've broken the foot claws. In fact, I think your best bet is to hit his feet and wait f and uh, listen for the uh, breaking noise. Oh, he got me! He got me! No! I'm not breakfast! Okay. I don't know why I forgot to use a dung bomb. What? You're not a Seragios. You're a lot uglier than a Seragios. But yeah, that Seragios is getting ready to throw me. Then I remembered I had the Dung Bomb. Are you tired? Looks like it. Alright. That's for getting my way, Apsaros. But Sergios is limping. We're almost done. I know where he goes to sleep, so, uh. Yeah. You idiot. Yeah, I know I killed your brother, but. Come on. He brought that on himself. Why can't you, Apsaros, take responsibility for your own actions? So we will wait for Sergius to fall asleep. And I want to break at least one of those talons. And there's a reason for that. Ramabras, why? He is, he's moving really fast now. Ow! Mega. Remobras, just get out of my way, you idiots. You're crowding the screen and causing all kinds of minor inconveniences. Oh, no. Yeah, tear those Remobras apart. I don't need an audience. Well, I, I already have an audience, my viewers. Okay. Perhaps I shouldn't have been fighting so close to the edge. Alright, my fault. Ah, <laughs> uh, now I've got a long trek back to base, or back to the nest. I should be approaching the end of my uh, recording time soon, so I'm going to want to finish this up real quick. You know what? Forget the talons. I can always do that on my own time. Just want to get this done and over with. Absurus, no, you do not have the right to be mad at me. I didn't do anything wrong.
So he's asleep again. The Romabras are all back. There we go. The Seregios has been defeated. Let's see, do we get anything good? A slave scale. Another slave scale. Come on, something good. Eth, slave scale. Ah, uh, perfect. All right, now this. This deserves a victory dance. I've just conquered my favorite monster. Ah, yes. Hermabra, you'd better not ruin this. Can't you just restrain yourselves? There we go. Come on. Ah. All right. Well, now, let's see. Do we get anything good from this uh, Seregius hunt? I want lots of parts. I want a bountiful harvest. Ah. Uh. Ooh, air blades. A blade shot from the body and carried on the wind toward unsuspecting hunters. A sharp scale the Seregius can make stand on end gouges anything it touches. A rust shard, too. Scraper, a wing talon. Most attacks come from the hind legs. The wings serve to shift weight. Breacher, a sharp horn like a hefty axe that, not surprisingly, makes for fine equipment. And random stuff from the uh, subquest. Rust shard, what is this? A rusted greatsword. I'll pass. I know those rusted weapons have uh, pretty good potential, but still... Yeah, 16 meters long. That's our first Sergios. Golden Predator has been added to the gallery. And, ooh, we can cert uh, send the Meowster Hunters after a Sergios. And Base Arios now shows up on Expeditions. Ruby Base Arios, too. No Sergios though? That's kind of weird. Anyway, we're going to see uh, what villagers want to talk with me, and then I'm going to call it quits for this recording session. Yes, that'll be a lot of fun. All right, what have you got to say for yourself? Congratulations, Hunter. Simply amazing. I feel like shouting your praise from the rooftops. Thanks to you, the sand skiffs are back in operation. Supplies have already started coming in. As for the flames we need, never fear. The Waikun's associates located another Rathian. The ace gunner went to capture it for us. I know she'll be just, she'll be just fine. Now let's get ourselves back on trap. We need to keep fortifying Dundorma. The townsfolk are raring to go, and there are plenty of ways you can help. Master Tool, in particular, has been very impressed with your efforts and wishes to pitch in. Would you mind stopping by? Thank you again, good hunter. Let's work hard to whip Dundorma into shape, shall we? Uh, someone else wants to speak? Guildmarm, no. Oh, you. What's going on, Hunter? I just want to say respect. Respect for hunting that Seregios. And respect for helping out the town. It made me think I've got to do my part to help out too, you know? There's a merchant I know buying monster materials for a high price. And right now he's buying black Gravios materials for the highest price of all. This is my chance, Hunter. With all that zenny, I could donate to the town's restoration fund. All I need is someone to do the hunt. Know anyone? I'm <laughs> just kidding. I want you, of course. I already spoke to the guild marm. The quest is called Black Rock Down. Do it for the town, Hunter. All right, and... Oh, the man and the Waikun. I see you have obtained some Seregios materials. Melee weapons forged from those materials gain a special property. I've tried forging with those materials many times, and it seems they cause blades to be born anew. Also, you may be able to restore the weapon's sharpness by re evading with it drawn. Use Seregios weapons effectively, and you may no longer need to carry whetstones. Bow guns you can make with Seregius materials gain a new property as well. Evading while the weapon is drawn will load ammo automatically. You might never have to manually load the bowgun again. Whichever type of weapon you choose, the benefits are obvious. Why not try making one? Yes. 
Seregios is an awesome monster, but beyond that, it makes awesome equipment. Seregios equipment is incredibly valuable. Um, actually, that depends. It does a lot of raw damage, and the um, they have excellent sharpness too. And the, as the as the man said, you restore sharpness by uh, just rolling around with the weapon drawn. Um, that gimmick makes some weapons less effective than others. For example, the sword and shield, which burns through sharpness really quickly because the amount of times you strike with it. But slower weapons like the great sword, yeah, you definitely want to make those uh, Seregio's weapons. You've been making great strides lately. Oh yes, I've been watching. And so I thought I might step up my own game and secure some new wares for when you trade materials. My colleagues were more than amenable, but monsters have blocked our trade route. If it's not too much trouble, I filed a quest with a guild called Thunder and Stone. If you want to trade for new materials, just lend us a hand. Okay, what are these new quests? So one is a Black Gravios, and the other is something else. Okay, uh, Black Rock Down, hunt a Black Gravios in the Volcanic Hollow. This one is hunt a Zenogre and Gravios in Primal Forest. Oh, fun. Yay. So I'll be doing these two quests next time. Uh, in the meantime, I will be sure to um, finish upgrading the Celtus Queen charge blade, as well as any other weapons I feel like upgrading. But yes, that will be next time. Uh, so thank you, thank you guys for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. I'm glad you love this playthrough as much as you do, and I'm glad to see that you're um, really enjoying the fact I'm doing these videos again. So yes, thank you all for watching. I have been Cottonmouth255, the Spore Serpent, and I'll see you again soon for more uh, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. See you later, have a good day, and happy hunting!